Once upon a time, there was a lonely little mountain, and at the top of this lonely little mountain, three little trees took root. As they stood and grew together, the three little trees dreamed of what they wanted to become when they grew up. The first tree was immensely beautiful and all the birds had been When I grow up, I want to hold treasure. I want to be covered in gold and silver and filled to the brim with precious stones. I will be the most beautiful treasure chest in the whole wide world. Not to be outdone, the second tree, strong and firmly rooted, looked around and saw a small stream trickling by on its way to the vast ocean. When I grow up, I want to be traveling mighty waters and carrying powerful kings and lords. I want to be the biggest, strongest ship in the whole wide world. The third tree, thin, very tall, and very unsure of what it wanted, looked down to the valley below where busy men and women worked in a busy town. When I grow up, I don't think I want to leave this mountain top. I will stay here and grow so tall that when people stop to look at me, they will look up to the heavens and be reminded of God. I will grow up to the tallest tree in the whole wide world. And so the years passed. The rain came and watered the roots. The sun shone on the green leaves and all the branches. And so the three trees grew tall and strong. But one day, three woodcutters climbed the mountain in search of trees to protect them. This tree, it is so beautiful. It is beautiful. <laughs> this tree, it is so strong. It is perfect for me. The last woodcutter looked in the direction of the third tree, and the third tree's heart sank. This tree is not that tall, but I guess it'll do. rejoiced when it was brought to a carpenter's shop. Now I should be made into a beautiful chest. I shall hold wonderful treasure. But the once beautiful tree was not covered with gold or filled with treasure. Instead the tree was made into a feed box for animals, covered in sawdust and filled with hay for hungry animals. The second tree rejoiced when it was brought to a shipyard. Now I shall sell mighty waters, and I will be a strong ship for mighty kings. But the once strong tree was hammered, sawed, and formed into a simple fishing boat. It did not sail on the ocean, or even a river, as it was too small and too weak to handle rough waters. Instead, the boat was taken to a small little lake. The third tree was confused when it was just brought to a carpenter's shop, cut into simple beams, and left in a shed. What happened to me? All I ever wanted was to stay on the mountaintop and point to God. Many, many days and nights passed the three trees by, in the barn, on the lake, and in the shed. The three trees nearly forgot their dreams as time passed. The first tree sat in the barn, day after day, trying to remember its dream as animals ate from its plentiful supply of food. But one night, golden starlight poured into the barn and over the first tree as a young woman that's been no place left to go. Why would a baby be kept here? I am not a treasure chest, nor a cradle, only a simple manger. While the tree was wondering, the first tree saw a host of angels emerge from heaven, singing songs, and a group of shepherds gather near the child, praising God. A curious sight to see, and suddenly, the first tree realized it indeed was holding the greatest treasure in the world. Oh, the tired traveler and his friends crowded into a small fishing boat. The traveler fell asleep as the boat quietly sailed out into the water. Soon, thundering and thrashing storm grew, and the second tree shuddered. It knew that it did not have the strength to carry these passengers safely through the wind and the rain. Lord, we're going to drown. Save us. Teacher, do you not care that we are going to die? Peace. Be still. And in that moment, when the child will the the storm, the leaves come and the wind die down. Who is this that even the winds and the waves obey him? The traveler's friends were astonished, but as they calmly sailed to the shore, the second tree realized that it indeed carried a king. 
not just of the earth, but of heaven as well. One day, the third tree was startled when its beams were yanked from the forgotten wood pile in the shed and hammered into a crude cross shape. It felt immense shame as it was carried through an angry crowd, and there was great pain when a soldier nailed a man's hand and feet to it. All I wanted was to stand tall so people would think of God. But now, when people see me, they think of suffering. The third tree felt ugly and harsh and cruel as it was discarded in the No, Justin, no. Oh, Justin, no. On the third day, when the sun rose, the third tree felt the earth tremble. And very soon, a great murmur was heard from the people outside about the man who had died on that cross, about how he had risen from the dead. It was at that moment that the third tree knew that something, no, everything had changed. The third tree realized that when people looked at it, they would not just think of death and suffering, but think also of God and new life. And that was much better. <laughs>